My name is Paul Shepherd. Um, I'm a re retired GP, uh, um, uh, live in Lanchester, County Durham, and I'm here because uh, there's a climate emergency. Well, I I'm sitting here um, after a, a couple of hours in the cold uh, demonstrating outside the Bradley coal mine, and uh, the reality of things is that I'm drinking a cup of coffee and uh, this coffee has needed to be heated and um, uh, I have used um, gas which is a fossil fuel and I, I guess uh, we have to face the reality that for a short time at least um, some fossil fuels will be needed um, but need to be phased out as quickly as we can and the, the, fo the focus of the, uh, of the uh, demonstration today is um, uh, a coal mine uh, at, uh, uh, called Bradley Coal Mine uh, near Dipton in County Durham and uh, the, the uh, company called Banks is uh, planning to expand the coal, coal mine uh, to extract an extra 90,000 tonnes of coal um, and their argument is that uh, if we didn't extract this coal then the coal would be imported this is not true because the country has uh, um, uh, massive amounts of store, stores of coal above the ground that will last well beyond 2025. And the government has agreed that we will phase out coal mines by 2025. And uh, this seems crazy to us that they would want to do this. Um, but History seems to be repeating itself. If you think back to the tobacco companies uh, when we knew that um, uh, cancer was caused by smoking, the tobacco companies put out false information and tried to water down the science. This seems to be exactly what's happening with the fossil fuel industry and we need to resist it and point this out to the population and this is why we're um, demonstrating here today. Um, it's interesting the responses that we get from the, from the public uh, driving past probably about two out of three are waving and putting the thumbs up and supportive of the action and then one out of three are sort of uh, fairly aggressively um, uh, sticking two fingers up at us uh, saying things like uh, uh, get a job you lazy bastards um, which amuses us as um, a couple of people I've been talking to. One was a, a software engineer who'd come up from Oxford who has taken a week off work uh, uh, during her holidays in order to come to this action. Um, another man I spoke to is an 81 year old man with severe heart disease who struggled to get here but felt so strongly that he should do. Um, I haven't spoken to anybody who is unemployed <laughs> And the people were here at half past five this morning on a freezing cold morning. Uh, committed, um, interesting people who are worried about the future and the, uh, of uh, the planet uh, for themselves and their kids. Um, and I think they should be applauded. Um, I think uh, in the future when their grandchildren uh, ask them uh, what did they do in the war against climate change, uh, they'll be able to look them in the eye. Uh, whereas the majority of the folk um, are, seem to me to be passive. Uh, hopefully this sort of action will start to generate conversations that will shift the, um, the conversation uh, towards being more climate, uh, carbon neutral. Uh, we can only hope. Um, but disruptive action is really important. and. I think uh, we've been successful so far because we've closed the mine for the day, which is one of the objectives. Um, but clearly this is mainly to support um, the climate movement and to stimulate conversations, so we're pleased about that.